I'm very excited about this lesson because I think rational and irrational numbers are very cool. And I also think the names are really cool. So if you look at the word rational, it has the word ratio in it. And what a ratio is, is it's a fraction, as you know. So a rational number is just a fraction, right? It's, it's, it's one number over another number. Not like a decimal, but like a nice whole number over another whole number. That's a rational number. So is one half a rational number? Yeah, sure, because it's one over two. Is two and one half a rational number? It will be, but let's write it as an actual ratio, right? Right now it's a, an improper fraction. So we can write this as two times two, two times two plus one, over two. That's how we do improper fractions, right? This times this plus this over two. So it's going to be five halves. Two and a half is five halves. Is that a ratio? Yes, it's five over two. So is it rational? Yes. Is it irrational? That's just not rational. No. Is seven a rational number? You bet. Seven over one. It's a ratio. Is 10 an irrational number? What do you guys think? Well, 10 is just 10 over one which is a ratio of whole numbers, 10 and one. So it is rational. In other words, it is not irrational. Double negatives. Is negative 10 a rational number? Okay, so this is negative 10 divided by one. That's still a ratio of whole numbers. You can have negative numbers in there. That's no problem. So is it a ratio? Yes. Is it rational? Yes. Is it irrational? No. Is 2.277 an irrational number? Okay, so look, they give you a rule, right? That says if it's, if it's a terminating decimal, right? If it stops or repeats, it's rational. But the real truth of why that's true is because you can write 2.277 as 2, 2, 7, 7 divided by 1,000, which is a ratio. Right? If you divide that by 1,000, you get 2.277. But you can just memorize the rule that if it terminates, if it's a terminating decimal, it is rational, which means that it is not irrational. Is square root of one a rational number? That's tricky. I mean, square root of one, what's the square root of one? Remember, one times one equals one. So one is the square root of one. So this is just the same thing as one. Is one a rational number? Yes, because one equals one divided by one, which is a ratio of whole numbers. So yes, square root of one, AKA one is rational. Is square root of eight an irrational number? This is tricky. And honestly, you probably have not been taught why this is true, right? Um, because it's, it's, it's not easy. Right. But this, if you break it down, right, this will give you four times two, which is the square root of four times the square root of two, which is two times the square root of two. And a famous fact, right, there is a um, 
there's a story about a Greek mathematician that got thrown overboard because he showed that the square root of two was irrational. That blew the Greeks' mind. They hated things that were not proper fractions. They hated the idea that you could even have that, right? Because they saw a square of having side length one, and the Pythagorean theorem told them that this length here was one squared plus one squared square root, which is square root of two. And they said, how could such a perfect shape involve such an ir irrational number? We don't believe you. We don't believe that the square root of two is irrational. But it turns out that it is, which means it's impossible to express it as a ratio. Why? We don't have enough time in this video. One day in your math class, you will learn that. You can also look it up. I'm sure there are beautiful videos on YouTube. But for now, you just kind of have to take it, unless you want to go on YouTube and look, that the square root of two is irrational. So if it ever shows up in some weird way, it is going to be irrational. Is square root of zero an irrational number? All right. Well, this is just zero. The square root of zero is zero because zero times zero equals zero. So zero is the square root of zero. And zero can be written as zero divided by one, if you want. And that's a ratio of whole numbers. So it is rational. It is not irrational. Is square root of four an irrational number? Look, square root of four is our favorite. It's one of our favorite numbers. It's two, right? So it's just two divided by one, which is rational for sure, right? So it's not an irrational number. All whole numbers are rational numbers because you can just divide them by one, right? Yeah, there are a lot of interesting stories about the Greeks. And a lot of your music system is based on, uh, based on fractions, right? Our music system, right? So when you hear nice notes, right? It's like the fraction of one to two, by the way, that's an octave in music. The fraction of two to three, that's another interval in music. The frac, uh, you know, the fraction of one three, that's another interval in music. So the Greeks understood about how music and simple fractions are related, and they wanted everything to be a simple rational fraction, right? And it turns out that that's not how numbers work. So hopefully you're intrigued and you'll want to learn more about rational and irrational numbers. But it's always good to just practice the concepts and then learn the whys a little bit along the way, right? Because you want to have both the understanding of what and why. Okay, all. Have a great day.